All right, so this is the first video back from my knee surgery. I can't do a lot, but um, I can do some things. We're at Cat Paw. Uh, you, Alec was on the channel before, showed all the Casey Katami stuff. He uh, knows a lot about grappling, and he, he's a good person for, to show this on because, um, you know, he's not that heavy and my knees are not good. <laughs> so I want to show some options, offense and defense, from singles if you go to a hand post. I've been coaching high school a long time. When you coach kids, you only have a few years to get them recognized by college coaches. And what happens is if, you know, you try to keep them in a system where they don't get in trouble. So I know I have a tendency to say, don't do this, don't do that. It's because I don't want to get people into trouble, okay? And I, when I do a, when I do a hand post, I have a very specific reason for doing it. So what was taught, what a lot of people are teaching is they're saying, you get in on a single and an early response um, would be, if the guy starts to sprawl, right, that they're saying, my head gets stuck here a little bit, and they're saying to post your hand on the mat. The, the problem that I have with this is this. See how my back is still fine? And by the way, nobody ever shows the proper defense for this guy. This guy's not gonna just not do anything. He's gonna be stuffing me. And then now if my hand is here, I'm actually in a lot of trouble because that's the first thing he's gonna do. I'm stuck now. Guess what? That single that I wanted to come back to, they're teaching you to, here, uh, let go of that for a second. They're teaching to go knee pound, knee pound, get your head back up here. Okay, I'm telling you <laughs> that it doesn't work against a lot of people, okay? It's not the first option that you wanna to go to because he's not gonna let my head come back up. He's going to keep his hand there. So I'm not getting it back up. So the reason I like, if I'm already starting to get stopped here, right? And I'm gonna to wanna to go to the John Smith shut single that I showed you before. And the reason is, is because I can support my weight with my head on my bicep when I'm starting to get stuck here, okay? And start turning the corner, right? And we've been through this. I talked about, I've had several videos where two of them, video number two, I believe, and then the dog fight video where I show how to finish that. Once my hand goes to the mat, see how my back now is, is more parallel to the floor? This means that all the weight's stuck here. And most people, when they put their hand this far out, he's gonna smash my hand here. Now, I've given him a whole lot more options that he didn't have. He didn't have this option before when I was here. He didn't have that option, right? But now when I go here, if both of my knees are on the mat, I'm in a, this is where things start to get really bad for me. Because if he circles away from it, right? See how like my hand, how am I supposed to hold the most powerful part of his body, right? How am I supposed to hold the most powerful part of his body with four fingers? So this is why I don't want kids, because <clears throat> I'm used to teaching kids, right? And I want them to, and I think that all jujitsu guys, if you're a high level high school wrestler, you're gonna be much better than most people, right? And stick to the fundamentals. <clears throat> so generally speaking, if I was in on a single, I don't want this ear position because these guys are judokas. Right? Um, if I come up with my head on his ear, I'm getting thrown. He's gonna uchi out of the crap out of me, okay? And that's why he's got, all, he's got a million options when I'm head on the ear. So, uh, ear on his, on his chest. This is a much better position. So if he starts sprawling from here, I'm in a much better position, okay? So, let me show some of the offense. I want more defense, I want to show. So on my channel, I was showing you how a really tough kid that I was wrestling was giving me a big hard, a hard time. I was trying to stuff him, I was trying to do all this stuff. He's not gonna get, if he, now he can do a cutback from here if I'm not controlling his head, which is why I wanna cover his head with my hips, right? How's he gonna get his head back up here, right? <clears throat> right now I don't have all these options. As Soon as his hand goes to the mat, I now have a bunch of options I didn't have. Circle away, the leg, it's, hold on a minute. Mm -hmm. It's really hard, see how hard it is? Now, I can go to the front headlock. I can, um, I can block here, right? On the channel, I, I, I used it from my high school. I came here, I've showed this before, head in the hole, right? What that does is it prevents him from getting his elbow back and blocking his side off. That's why I put my head behind his armpit and keep the chin, right? <clears throat> but these are all options I didn't have. Now, if he tries to lift his head up, and I have this, do it slowly, I don't mind because he just gave me the headlock. Right, and I know people say they don't like this position in jujitsu, but like this position sucks for him. These guys know how to get out of this position more than anyone I've ever trained with. They're really good judokas, 
And they would they go to this position all the time. That's a great position. The other option is, right, if I'm here and he tries to circle around the back, it's the same problem. It's the same problem, right? Or even, so when he had just the single locked in and he's doing the John Smith uh, finish, I don't have that option. I can't headlock. I have to try to go to the shoelaces, right? And try to, try to sprawl back and cover them with my hips. <clears throat> so this is the, the reason I teach what I teach in terms of classic fundamentals is because it works at all levels, right? If I hand post, there's only one reason, one way I do it. It's not out here. It's when he's further over my back here. And I, if I was here and I feel like I'm in pretty deep and he really commits to the sprawl, then I will post here and come here, okay? And finish this way. That's the only time I do it. Now, what I've learned in jujitsu, by the way, I get humbled. I learned coming out the back door is a bad idea. Because when I first got into jujitsu, I'd get here, I'd come out the back door, try to split the legs, and get freaking triangled. And even though I don't get freaking submitted from that position, right, I'm trying to finish either here, right, and they triangle me. And then I get stuck. Right? So, so if you do get in that position, you can, I'm going to show that one more time. Yep. Notice the difference, okay? There's a big difference between once my hand goes here, my back is parallel to the floor. I'm in a lot of trouble. And he has a harder time getting my hand when it's under, but he can still get it. And the problem is if I lift him up, I give him a whole other series of defenses that he can do with his arm, all kinds of problems. So this is not my favorite move, okay? What I would rather do, keep my hands locked, he sprawls, and I've showed this before, is cut back, right? Cut back, because I never let go, I never posted my hand on the mat, and I didn't give him all the other options, okay? So when I say don't do something, it's not, it'll never work, I'm saying, what I'll, I'm saying, when against a high level guy, when people are showing you, you're good on me. Yep. When people are showing this, they never show what this guy's supposed to be doing. They're like, I'm gonna recover the head position. And I'm like, no, you're not. You're not. Because I'm not gonna, I mean, I'm not gonna give it to you. I'm gonna be stuffing hard, right? And then when his hand goes to the mat, now all of a sudden, we've got all kinds of options we didn't have. Hands, I mean, just for nothing else, if you're first learning this, this is enough. Mm -hmm. It's enough because it's a problem. Now, he's a catch wrestler. And he says, and I want to point this out because, because he's, he, he's, he knows a lot of stuff, is he says, well, as a jujitsu guy, if you start doing this, I'll just, he'll just double up and then he'll set to guard. And that's fine. You should know those things. Okay. I'm teaching from my wrestling understanding is, is that once somebody does this, they are, their whole, all they've got is this. And that's not going to be enough. Right? <clears throat> so. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you learned something. My voice is a little wrecked. I've been sick for a week. <laughs> um, and let me know what you think and ask questions because asking questions is helping generate more content. Thanks. Thanks. Yeah, no um, anything else? Do you have anything to say? Of course, when, Frank. When you grab that leg, I always lock my arms out. The thing is when he puts his hand on the ground, uh -huh. he's open for the Kimura trap. Yeah. Oh, shit. I didn't show that. Let's just do it one more Mike, that, well, you, you tell me what, you, what your series is, because when he gets here, <laughs> yeah, right? Oh, one other thing. still recording, yeah, so. Yeah. Is, and I get this, and he puts it way out, right? Yeah. Always, 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 always. Because I also have the, the, the one on the I'm arm, I'm going to roll right now. Yeah, 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 right? The other one was, is if I'm this guy, right? And he grabs, yeah, he grabs my wrist, and I get this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. That, that, right. that's, that's easier with the key. I'm not going to get the tap. Get yeah, I'm not going to get, but I, it gets him off of me. His sprawl has to be disengaged. With the key, you're getting a lot. Oh, yeah. Because you can't, you can't wrist roll out. Yeah. And for me, anytime, any, uh, like when I was wrestling, and, and this all happened like not in high school, but collegiate, yeah. I got much better. Anytime somebody grabs my wrist, yeah. I'll go ahead and do it. I start trying to grab theirs oh, because yeah. I'm either yeah. first thing I'm thinking of is yeah. oh shit yeah. you know I want to yeah. be head to head because yeah. yeah. if I'm head to, if I if my shoulders are over top of his shoulders yeah. we start going to these this is where yeah. I'm, but but again it, you know the, the the theme being <laughs> like keep your hands off the mat yeah. because there's a reason why we always say in wrestling I want to put his hands to the mat most of it's because because his posture is this way. Right, because if I'm like this, my, my back is straight, I'm strong. Yeah. But once I go here, yeah. it's it's more than just my hand being on the mat, and it's what, my back. What was your thing about 
this is what big dudes do sometimes is right i'm here and before i i just willingly go referees yeah right because i want to come in right that sort of shit right so your thing is, is he has to block this because you're gonna gut wrench. Oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah. For me, if if, if I bail on the single, like oh fuck, yeah, right? yeah, 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 what you show your beginners is the same thing I show. If I do this, it's because I want to be. Wait, I'm gonna go to the, yeah, what we used to call the Iranian. Yeah. My problem though is as soon as people start going there, you know, I start trying to, you get it, now you're in a whole different problem. Right. Right, the, the, I mean, it's fine, but, but you have got, to realize. He's got, he's got to get his knees underneath and up in the air before you. Right, no, but no doubt, there's a whole other, now there's a whole other yeah. fucking, a whole right. other host of shit that becomes a problem, right? It's like how John Smith says, I'd rather. the same weight move. <laughs> yeah, John Smith says I'd rather finish the single on the ground because as soon as I lift it up, there's a whole other host of problems that you have. Oh, he's got more. I agree. I don't like the shell, but I like anything. I, I always put my elbow to the ground, put my mm. shoulder in his, in his hamstring. Yes. And then push his hands onto the mat so he has to pose. Yes. And then I grab the other leg and put him on his head. Yeah, yeah, classic. 